Jean Piaget and the Cognitive Developmental Theory. Jean Piaget was born on August 9, 1896 in Switzerland and died on September 16, 1980. Jean Piaget was the father of three children. He was offered a job as a curator of the Mollusk Collection at the Museum of Natural History in Geneva. He told the museum officials he wanted to finish high school first. Eventually, he became fascinated by the different wrong answers children gave and was curious about the thinking behind these answers. His ideas provide an explanation of the development of human thinking from infancy to adulthood. The four stages of Piaget's theory of cognitive development are sensory motor, pre-operational, concrete operational, and formal operational. Piaget focuses on biological maturity, which is the realization of the way we are developing biologically. Piaget also focuses on equilibration, which is trying to find a balance. It works like this. If we use a certain tactic in a situation and it works, then there's balance. If it doesn't, then disequilibrium exists and we become uncomfortable. Social experiences causes us to learn from others. It influences cognitive development by giving predetermined knowledge to us. Also, our activity grows as we mature physically and our ability to learn from our actions based on the surroundings. Piaget says everyone is born with the want to organize the thinking process. At a very young age, babies can only either look at an object or crawl to grab the object. As they get older, they learn to do both at the same time. Piaget said patterns that are repeated and generalized are called schemes. Sucking on a straw is an example of a small scheme. The drinking scheme is a larger scheme. People start to adapt to their environment. Assimilation and accommodation are a part of adapting. Assimilation is making connections to already known information. Accommodation makes the person change schemes. For example, a child may think a skunk is a cat, but once they grow up, they will connect their new knowledge of a skunk to their existing knowledge of a cat, realizing the difference between a cat and a skunk. Piaget says both processes are required. Children learn how to use a straw with their existing schemes. They have to add their new information about not squeezing the box to make sure that the juice does not fall out. There are some times that we do not use accommodation or assimilation. For example, if we hear a conversation in an unknown language, we will usually just ignore it. Piaget believes we are always trying to balance our thinking. This is when equilibration, or wanting to balance, begins. Disequilibrium can also be present, which is when the production is not satisfying. Now you will learn about Piaget's main focus, which was the four stages of cognitive development. Again, they are sensory motor, pre-operational, concrete operational, and formal operational. The first stage in Piaget's theory of cognitive development is the sensory motor stage, which, which lasts from birth to two years of age. At this stage, children learn that they can imitate others around them, as demonstrated in these pictures. One of the biggest feats in the sensory motor stage is the realization of object permanence, or in other words, objects still exist even when we cannot see them. Another accomplishment is that the child goes from reflex-based actions to a more thought-out, goal-oriented actions. The last milestone is that children begin to learn to use their memory. During their first year, however, infants will learn an important concept, object permanence. Everything has a life of its own, even if it is out of sight. At Maya's age, babies know to look for the object. 
but they might not have everything else straight. Ten-month-old Simon is about to make a classic mistake. Although he watched us place the toy plane under the white cloth, he'll look for it where he last found it, not where he watched us hide it. The pre-operational stage is the second of the four stages occurring between the ages of two and seven. When looking at which picture has more green blocks, a child in the pre-operational stage would pick the one where they're spread out even though they're all equal. This is another model showing how kids between the ages of 2 and 7 might see how objects spread out appear to be more than objects closer together. The same amount of liquid poured from one glass to another appears to look like there is more. There are two short, wide cups filled with the same amount of liquid. When one is poured into a taller, skinny glass, the child thinks the amount has changed. Alright, so do these two balls of sand look the same? Yeah. They do? Okay. Now which one has more? They're the same? They still have the same amount of sand? Oh, they're not the same. Oh, okay. How come they don't have the same amount? Because that one's flat. So that means more sand? Okay, cool. Also during this stage, there are difficulties seeing things from another's point of view. Okay, so, first question I'm gonna ask you is, uh, do you have a sibling? Do you have a brother or a sister? Yeah, I got a sister. You got a sister? Okay, what's her name? Um, Alisa. Alisa? Yeah. Okay, does Alisa have a brother or sister? Mm. No? Gotcha. The concrete operational stage takes place from 7 to 11. This is when children have the ability to solve hands-on problems logically and are able to visualize different arrangements before actually moving things around. This is also when children become capable of deeper thinking. They are able to use classification to group things together and learn that there is more than one way to classify things. They also understand the law of conservation, which is understanding that two quantities such as numbers, weight, volume, or area stay the same even when the appearance changes. So first we're going to look at these two cups right here. Do you think there's the same amount of juice in this glass as there is in that glass? They're even. They're even? Okay. So we're going to take the juice from this glass and pour it into this one right here. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to look at this glass and that one. So do you think that there's more juice in this glass, more juice in this glass, or do you think that they have the same amount? Same amount. Okay, why do you think that they have the same amount? Just because this is skinny doesn't mean it, it, it doesn't, it's not the same amount. The final stage is the formal operational stage, which is ages 11 to adulthood. During the formal operational stage, people are able to solve abstract problems in a logical fashion. The people in this stage begin thinking in a way that is more scientific. They begin to develop concerns about social issues and their identity as a person. Children can perform mental operations on abstract ideas and objects that are only imagined, which are objects or events they have never encountered personally. In this final stage, they grow into adulthood while also becoming their own person. If you hit a glass with a feather, the glass will break. Okay. And the second one, Don hit a glass with a feather. What happened to the glass? It broke. And why did it break? Because the rule says if you hit a glass with a feather, it'll break. So if you hit a glass with a feather, it broke. <laughs>